Are you tired of the financial roller coaster, wondering why inflation seems to spiral out of control despite the Fed's promises? In his latest talk, Steve Heinke didn't hold back. He delved into the Federal Reserve's erratic policies and the widespread misconceptions that have gripped the economic landscape. Before we analyze his profound insights, let's hear a crucial segment from Hanke himself. I would put it this way. I'm not being subjective. I'm being objective. Yeah. And, 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 and what's, the, what's the message? The big message is steady as you go. Keep, keep the money supply at about 6% and you will see the inflation coming in pretty close to 2%. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. Now, what the Fed has done, they've given us a, a massive roller coaster ride. They aren't steady as you go. They're, they're up, they're down, they're up, they're down. They're all over the place yeah. because they're not looking at the money supply. They're looking at these current data. They, it's like your finger in the wind. That, that's, that's their model. It's a finger in the wind. And as a result of that, we're getting a whiplash. First yeah. we go up. Then we, then we go down. So that's that's the Fed. Now, what's the narrative? You, you started getting into the narrative. The narrative of the Fed, which has been bought into by, quite frankly, all the press and, and, and most of the economics profession, and that is that the inflation, they, they never mention money, by the way. They never. They never it, it, isn't, it is not in the post-Keynesian models, by the way. The main models that are used in macroeconomics do not include a variable for an a aggregate measure of the money supply. That's so, crazy. so, so, so the so the research economists that have been trained in the last twenty years they they don't even have it in the model. <coughs> they don't have it in their head. They're they're not even thinking about it. And the Fed, as a matter of policy, by the way, does not think about it. Paul has been on the record over and over and over again saying that the money supply doesn't have much to do with the course of the economy, or as I put it earlier, nominal GDP, or inflation or real growth in the economy. Steve Hankey's critique of the Federal Reserve is as direct as it is eye-opening. He emphasizes a critical point. The Fed's monetary policy is like a ship caught in a storm, veering wildly from one direction to another. Hankey argues that the Fed has abandoned a steady, predictable approach to managing the money supply. Instead, they react to current data with an almost unusual variability, resulting in economic whiplash. Hankey's prescription is simple, but profound. Maintain the money supply growth at about 6%, and inflation will stabilize around 2%. This contrasts starkly with the Fed's current strategy, which Hankey describes as finger-in-the-wind economics. This approach, driven by short-term data rather than long-term stability, creates volatility in the economy, causing surges and dips that are as unpredictable as they are damaging. One of the most striking points Hunky makes is about the narrative the Fed has successfully propagated. He points out that the press and much of the economics profession have bought into this narrative. The prevailing economic models, particularly those taught in the last 20 years, omit the money supply as a key variable. This omission has led to a generation of economists and policymakers who don't even consider the money supply's impact on nominal GDP, inflation, or real economic growth. Hankey criticizes Fed Chair Jerome Powell directly, highlighting Powell's repeated assertions that the money supply has little to do with the economy's trajectory. This, according to Hankey, is a fundamental error. By ignoring the money supply, the Fed is missing a crucial lever that could ensure economic stability. Hank's insights reveal a startling disconnect between current Fed policies and effective monetary management. The roller coaster of economic policy, driven by reactionary measures, creates uncertainty and instability. Hankey's call for a steady, predictable growth rate in the money supply offers a clear, actionable solution to tame inflation and stabilize the economy. Are we heading towards the mother of all economic bubbles? Steve Hankey thinks so, and his analysis might just shock you. Let's transition from his critique of the Federal Reserve to his alarming predictions about the stock market and impending recession. Right. Of course, it, it, it kind of, it, in, a, in a way, it's a, the, the market index is a little bit of an illusion because you've got the Magnificent Seven driving the whole thing. Right. And it's the market's not really very broadly based, but 
but at any rate, uh, given given the fact that let, let's let's move now from the kind of monetary economics into the market just a little bit, and that and that is, let let us let us assume that. Greenwood and Hanky are right about the recession coming late this year. What what does that imply about the market? It it implies that earnings are probably going to weaken up. Okay, free cash flow will become weaker, and and discounting that lower flow of free cash flow, uh, as as markets tend to do, that that will drive those multiples down and, and, and the market will come off these pricey levels. So uh, recessions really are, are not a great thing for the stock market no. to, to, put it, to, to put it bluntly. And, and there are kind of uh, signs in the wind, so to speak, that think things are starting to weaken around the edges. I, that that's my interpretation as I as I'm reading the data and and you get certain things like the, <coughs> the leading indicators uh, have been very weak actually for a long time uh, so that's that's a more traditional way to look at business cycles but they have been quite weak signaling some things are going to weaken up if not have a recession we'll have, we'll have you know big slowdown. You've got a negative yield curve, uh, which virtually always predicts a recession. So th so there are things that, that are out there that are consistent with this baked in the cake recession idea that's based on monetary analysis. Steve Hankey and his colleague Greenwood have been accurate in their inflation forecasts by applying monetary theory correctly. Hankey acknowledges the rarity of this accuracy and the reluctance of the mainstream economic community to recognize it because it doesn't fit the prevailing narrative. He highlights that their accurate inflation predictions are often overlooked. Hankey mentions esteemed economist Robert Schiller, known for his work on market valuations, suggesting that even Schiller would find the current stock market valuations excessive. According to Hankey, the 27% growth in money supply has led to a 9% inflation rate, which distorts traditional valuation models. This excessive growth has created what Hankey calls the mother of all bubbles, driven primarily by a few major companies termed the Magnificent Seven, rather than a broad market base. He shifts focus to the broader economic outlook, predicting a recession later this year. Hankey explains that a recession would weaken earnings and free cash flow, leading to lower market valuations and a decline from the current high levels. He notes several indicators pointing towards economic weakness, such as the consistently weak leading indicators and a negative yield curve, which traditionally signals a recession. Hanke's analysis suggests that the stock market is on shaky ground, with a recession likely to bring significant downturns. His insights highlight the importance of understanding monetary policy's impact on market conditions and the potential for significant economic shifts soon. Steve Hankey's analysis offers a sobering look at the state of our economy and the markets. His predictions, rooted in sound monetary theory, highlight the precariousness of the current financial landscape. As we brace for potential economic turbulence, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared. Whether you're an investor, a policymaker, or simply someone trying to understand these complex dynamics, Hankey's insights provide invaluable guidance. If you found this deep dive into Steve Hankey's talk insightful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments what you think about Hankey's predictions and how you're preparing for the potential economic shifts ahead. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more in-depth analyses on the world's most pressing financial issues.